Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So today is our last day, it's my last day to send you a video in 2020 because uh, for the month of December, I take some time off. Myself and the prayer warriors take time to plan and strategize for the new years that's about to come. And we just take time to rest and enjoy Christmas and New Year's with our families. So today will be my last message for 2020. Uh, in this last message, I just wanted to share a message that is really dear to my heart. It is a message that is found in Luke chapter 5, verse 5 to 7. And actually, Jesus was talking to the apostles before he left and, uh, you know, went to die on the cross. And uh, he was telling them, I am the vine, I am the true vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I remain in you, then you will bear much fruit. Um, apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and the branch withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. So as we end this year, today is December 1st, as we end this year, I want to remind you to remain in God. Stay close to him. Remain in him. Because apart from him, we are nothing. That's what the word of God says. I want to remind you to remain and I want to take this image of uh, branches and the tree you know a tree is outside and it stays and with the, like um stands the time right and it will stay there even when it's really cold it will stay there even when the sun is just like burning like crazy right like the tree goes through different seasons and the branches have to stay on the tree because that's where they get all their life from right and God is the one who is giving us life. And when we stay close to him and we hold on to tight onto him, right? Even when seasons are hard, even when seasons are changing, even when it's extremely cold, extremely hot, you know? Even when we're in a season where we are lacking and we remain in him still, the Bible promises us that if we remain, we will wear, we will bear much fruit, amen? So I just wanted to encourage you today and remind you, remain, remain. You know, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes that nothing will last forever, that seasons come and change, that uh, there is a season to reap and there is a season to actually plant, that there is a season to cry and there is a, a season to be full of joy, right? There is a season to live, there is a season to die. And today I want to remind you, if you feel like you are in a season where you are not seeing the fruits of all the things that you have been planting, you are not seeing the miracle that you have been praying for, may I just encourage you to remain. May I just encourage you and remind you that Jesus remained. He remained in the Father in the most difficult moment in the Garden of Gethsemane when he was about to die on the cross. He remained. He remained when blood was streaming because he was so nervous. He remained. He remained when he was on the cross dying for your sins and for my sins. He remained. He remained until resurrection, right? So I want to remind you there is resurrection resurrection power coming yeah it might look completely dead it might look completely helpless but there is a time that the season will eventually change so remain in him remain in him apart from him we are absolutely nothing amen i want to end by just reading you um a short uh, uh paragraph from the rabbi's heartbeat a, a book that i absolutely love it says um, all things were created through him and for him everything that is that is comes alive in the risen christ everything great small important unimportant distant and near has its place its meaning and its value through union with him with god nothing is wasted there is never a moment that does not carry eternal significance. No action that is sterile. No love that lacks fruition. And no 
prayer that is unheard. Nothing goes wasted in the kingdom of God. Amen. Whatever it is that you're doing, if you are doing something good, keep on doing good. Nothing goes wasted in the kingdom of God. Amen. So again, I just want uh, to remind you to remain in him no matter what you're going through. I just want to remind you that there is a God that loves you, that cares about you. So remain as we end this year. Remain. Plan for the next year that is to come. How are you going to remain? How are you going to stay strong? Right? Are you going to join a church? Are you going to be part of a small group? Are you going to have accountability leaders? Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to find a mentor? You know, think practical and remain in him. Amen. So God bless you from myself and from all the prayer warriors. We wish you a Merry Christmas, a very happy new year. God bless you.